Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. It's seven days to die. So, we're day 18. We're going into day 19, which is the Dog Horde Day, which means we're going to hang around the base, do some, you know, kind of preliminary work. I might run and grab some clay again, because we need some. We also need to process all of this stuff, so I'm going to throw in an office chair that we have. Ah! Uh, Oh, where did it go? I thought I had one. So, in my game, you know, I was transferring over stuff and I started recording and the game crashed and I had an office chair that I looted and I don't quite see that here anymore. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, that's no big deal. That was a minute and a half of burning time, but when the game crashes, weird stuff happens. So yeah, so welcome, welcome, you grab your drink and your tasty treats, and join me on this journey of this game. Excellent. So what are we doing, what are we doing? Well, we need to make some concrete, so which means that I need to smelt some stone into here, which means we need to continue smelting this stuff. Where's my wood? Right here. Let's throw a bunch of wood in here. Let's do what, minute and a half? I think that would be good enough for smelting some stuff here. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. We got a bunch of cobblestone rocks, a bunch of cement. So let's actually create some concrete mix. I can make about a hundred, I think. Yeah, I can make a hundred, and I'm making another thousand in here. Right, another 598 sand. So actually, let's do a hundred in here. This is how you create sand, is through this thing, right? and it, it produces it quite fast actually, which is kind of nice, kind of nice. So let's kind of hurry that up. This might call in some stuff. I should be using the spikes actually, the wood spikes, because I think the way that the heat map works with this stuff is it works based on how often it ticks, right? So every time something gets consumed, it it ticks right so to prevent that you have to use these wood log spikes or something anything that has a long burn time right so this would actually only be two ticks versus the 11 ticks that occurred if that makes sense i say ticks but it's probably there's probably a better term for that <laughs> so let's see a rocket launcher do i have oh no i don't so if we do this okay and then we go like this go assemble then we can click and drag this the barrel. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So now we just need the launcher parts and we have a rocket launcher. Crazy. That's cool. Let's put that back over here. Uh, AK-47 stock. That's what we have. So we just need the barrel and this stuff, the parts or whatever this is. So that's so cool. Okay. So that is that, and so I think what I'm going to do here now while it's still nighttime is I'm going to carry on going downstairs there, I'm going to continue mining, and then as soon as it's daytime, we'll figure out what we can do with all this clay and stuff, because I think we need to make concrete. So yeah, so I will meet you here in a moment. Okay, so we're back, so as you can tell, it's some stuff did get smelted down, I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to pop in a bunch more of these because it doesn't matter. 12 minutes? Yeah, let's do 12 minutes. It's only 3 ticks, so that actually would be pretty good. And this stuff is smelting down rather nicely. Got a bunch of iron in there. We'll have to get some stone in there. Let's make some cement here right now. We can make, what, 52? Let's make 50 with that. See, and that will process. It takes about a half a minute. Very nice, very nice. We're not making anything more... Oh, we got more spikes in here. I didn't even know that. Cool. So I don't think we need to build any more spikes. We might not have to do much harvesting at all today. Cool. So I'm just waiting for this to finish. Very loud, very loud. And then... Yeah, I might just throw, dump some stone into here and actually not let this do this. So let's actually do that. Put some small stone in there. Do that, and maybe put some small stone in there. Grab the cement. I wanna make the concrete mix on hand because that increases 
the crafting. I think it's miscellaneous crafting. That will use up some stone. So let's actually dump this stuff off. I will dump it into this box. Because it's all extra stuff. So we can dump the clay. We can dump a lot of these stones. Because we're going to pick up more. And I think we're going to go on a harvesting run. I think that's what we're going to do. Even though it's kind of day 19. It doesn't matter. The doggies will come. So maybe what we'll do is we'll kind of hang out here. We'll finish off the cobblestones here. Yeah, we'll finish off the cobblestones here. And hopefully the dog horde will come. Oh, shoot. There's some cement. Nice. So how far do we go? Do we go that far? Oh, we do it twice. I see. And then that's it. And then it's done. Okay. That's cool. So each block will take 20 cement, probably. That's cool. That is very, very, very cool. So come on, doggies. Come on down. <laughs> this is the fun part, man. Just going down and upgrading this wall. I'm glad that we've got, we're on the final stretch of it. Then the next step is to upgrade it into the concrete all the way around. And I'm hoping we can kind of do that before the day, uh, the day 21 horde. But we might get a good chunk of the wall done. I hope to get the, the spikes upgraded on the outside as well. Because that would be very, very, very useful. And then the cement we're actually going to use on the inside of this, I think. I think that's the best place to use that. Or we'll do the corners first and then we'll do the the rest of the wall right because the corners are the most important um, and the reason for that is because as you you lure the the zombies around your wall you want to kind of run them into the corners right because that's how you get them to go past you pass the corner and down that way right so it's kind of what I feel that you do but whatever your strategy is it's it's it may be unique it may be you know different it could be the same who knows I just I've been playing this game for a long time and I usually do something that works right until they change the mechanics of the zombies or of anything and then you know then you know I, I kind of change my strategy but I kind of had this idea for the double wall here so the the, uh, the one initial wall on the inside of the fortress here and then one on the outside here which is a little bit stronger so if they break through here we can always kind of fall back into this one which has all these spikes which will eventually be all upgraded all these kind of spikes underneath there i want them all upgraded i want the two layers of them upgraded as well as i want to put two layers on the outside of here but I figure I'll upgrade those as we get the hordes because the hordes will probably pummel the sides of these. And so I'm hoping that the corners will last because we invested all that steel into the corners, right? So, yeah, so that's kind of what's happening there. So, yeah, come on, dog horde. Usually there's one that comes in the morning and then one in the kind of afternoon, one at night. Typically, there's about three, but... That's hard to, to, to tell because, I don't know, that's just what I've found. That's just what i found. So, you may listen to my advice or not. It's, it's, it's your choice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my opinion. And it, Oh, and it's going to be that way. So, we need some more. So, if I go cobble. I didn't realize I would use that up. So, we need some more clay and stones. Maybe, what, about 100 units of cobble? So let's run inside and grab some of that. We have the frames all the way around here. So that is temporary. Because we're going to put the metal bars all the way around, right? The iron bars or whatever they're called. So let's kind of run down here. Athletics is increasing. Nice, because I constantly push the shift. Let's actually eat up here. So we're going to use our bacon and eggs. And after this, we're going to kind of make the meat stews. That will be the next best thing to, to, to create. So we'll eat a couple of those, which gets us up to 90. And then we have the bottled water here, which should get us up to there as well. Let's drink one more for the heck of it. Perfect. And we, 
We could grab more bottles, but I think we have enough, so that's fine. We have enough bottled water here, so that, that doesn't concern me at all. And we have enough resources in here. Let's let's repair this, this steel pickaxe so it, it frees up the space. And then we're going to have to, of course, use this pickaxe up because it's no longer good. And let's throw these spikes there. Where's the... Let's, let's get our weapons ready here. Do this, the wooden bow. Okay, perfect. Uh, wood spikes, we're going to kind of place those on the outside of the wall. And I think we have everything we need. Let's kind of dump this, this sand and this concrete mix in there. Oh, but we do need some of these and these because we need to make 100 cobblestone rocks. Let's make 200 just so that way we have enough. And that way we know we have enough. Oops, I want to keep those. Okay, perfect. So that is awesome. Now let's go and check on the forge. That should be still operating. Yeah, lots, lots of smelting, lots of stone, which will make lots of cement. Uh, it's about five minutes of that. Uh, come on, horde, where are you? This is very interesting footage. <laughs> let's finish that wall here, and then we'll be done. Exciting. Gonna run this way, do a quick check. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a bear. Now, is that a zombie bear or is that a regular bear? I think it's a regular bear. The zombie bears kind of are bloody and look gross um, or sickly. So, let's pop this one into here. Let's quickly do these. There we go. That's what I like to do. I like to hear that ding, ding. So, that way I know that I'm done that block and then I move on to the next one. And... Yeah, look at that. We're going to complete the wall. Woohoo! That is awesome. And now these cobblestone wall chunks are super strong. So I'm not worried about any zombies knocking them down because it's going to be tough. And if they do, then we got the inner wall. It's no big deal. I think I fixed that on the most part. There's some spots I need to upgrade and fix still. But that's probably from the one horde that we had. Oh, come on, guys. Where's that dog horde? <laughs> oh well, you know what? We'll just, we'll equip the shotgun. We'll take our chances. And let's actually place these. One, two, three, four. So you think we should just start placing a fifth row? Because I think we did it all the way around. We have to keep our ears open for the doggies. Because that's important. We got empty bird's nests here. Yeah, I'm going to leave those like that because I don't know if they regenerate at all. And if they do, then great. I might not be here when they regenerate. And so that's why, right? We're going to keep that fire there because if we can, we want to use that to our advantage. And I'm actually going to go this way. I'm going to go one more out. And we're just going to place another, oops, another row of spikes because we have a lot of them and the more the merrier because then they just killed more zombies we'll have to take this this structure down because it's definitely in the way definitely in the way the only problem with this is is, is if we're caught outside we're gonna have to deal with the the zombies but we have you know I have the bandage or the bandage wow the bandage the medical bandage I do have the healing ones so that's not a big deal it's kind of neat that we got that but we do need to find a sand biome do I have a sand biome anywhere maybe yeah I don't know we need to find a sand biome so that way we can pick up some aloe and then with the aloe we can then we can create the healing bandages looks like some zombies ran into that one set of spikes here Let's fix this up. Nice, nice. Look at this, man. Just spikes galore. So, yeah, I tell you what. I will continue doing this. I didn't want to stop recording just in case the dog horde did come by. And that way it gives you, all of you, some entertainment. But, you know, just sitting here watching me do this might not be entertaining, actually. Because <laughs> it's just the same old, same old. You're going to go around the wall placing this stuff. Now over here it's kind of tight 
But I don't think that... I don't know. We'll have to see how they behave. Hopefully they won't come in on that corner. If they do, then hopefully I can lure them around on that corner. So that way then the spikes can get trashed up. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> so the spikes can get trashed up and whatnot. So I'm going to get rid of this tree here. This tree's in the way. We need to replant these trees as well. Yeah, we're going to chop tree. Come on. Our little tree farm area. Okay, let's back it this way. I'm going to throw those in there. I'm going to throw these trees down here. Now, where do we want to place the trees? Kind of in the same area, right? Oh, come on, bear. I have to take care of the bear. Actually, now we can go, go this way because the bear is no longer here. Uh, just kind of repairing this stuff because it's... If you can repair it, why not, right? That I think it saves you some... Sorry, I'm just... I'm hearing the, the, the flame, so I'm thinking it's the pitter-patter of feet. Man bears move fast. Like, he was over there. Oh, yeah, he's there in the trees. Feeling like a bear. Heard something. Heard a zombie. Okay, that's okay. Let's keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Man, we're gonna have lots of spikes around this place. Is that a zombie? Or is that just... Weird. Is there a dead zombie there? I think there's a dead zombie there. It's one of those burning zombies. Probably has some loot on him. That's why he's still there. That's why it scared me. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay. And yeah, I tell you what, I will return when something interesting happens. Okay, so we are back here. Now we're going to make some more concrete. Cement, sorry, cement. Cement. Oh, look at that. We got a little error there. That's that, that, that sucks. Let's do 12 minutes again. Cement. Do what? 950? You can do 267. So let's do 250. And go craft. Okay, we'll let that do its thing here a little bit. Let's throw these spikes actually into into here because I don't need them with me. Let's throw the wood log ones as well in there, and then the cement should pop out of here. That'll take a couple minutes, so we'll let that do its thing. Man, this is tough because you don't want to you drop the stuff, but then you want it with you. And that dog horde still hasn't come yet. Hmm. I kind of want to go grab more supplies, like more, more concrete. But or well, I, actually, we're making concrete. We don't need clay for that. Just the cobblestones. So I tell you what, let's actually smash this out. So this should help us deal with our everyday situation. We'll get rid of this stupid. Woo! Thing. That's interesting. We should have smashed that. And if dogs do come, no big deal. No big deal. We'll just take care of it. We'll just run like a bunch of chickens. And we'll let the spikes take care of it. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to kind of do this stuff around here. And again, if there's something interesting, you're, I'll, I'll talk to you all at that point. Ooh, airdrop. Airdrop. We're gonna pick that up. Ooh. That's like so close actually. What's our inventory? Ooh. We already had the dog horde. I missed it though. I didn't catch it on camera. 
they came running down this way. They were all flaming because there's some pits there somewhere that are on fire. I'm actually going to go for that one. That's worth it. Even if there are dog hordes, no big deal. There's only like three dogs usually, so we have shotgun. We can use that to stop them. And this is still doing its thing. How are we... Oh, we're done that? 250? Can we do another 250 maybe? No, 231. So it just takes so much stone. So much stone. So I'm going to dump this stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that airdrop is teasing me. So I'm going to go after it. I think I'm going to say it's worth it. Because it's actually really close. Very close. So... Just cannot pass up the opportunity. Even if there are dogs, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna go straight there, pick it up, run straight back. No big deal. No guts, no glory, right? So I'm gonna keep this running. And we got a bandage for bleeding. We have pain pills. So it's not like we can not survive, right? So. The dogs usually aren't too shabby either. You can kind of use the train here to trip them up. Just have to keep your cool. And yeah, hopefully I can keep my cool. <laughs> but let's just run straight there. Come on, come on. I don't even see the airdrop to tell you the truth. Wasn't it around here somewhere? Or is it still? Oh no, it's right here, right here. Just hit the ground. Oh yeah! What do we have? So this is, I think we have already. Scrap. Uh, what else do we pick up? SMG receiver, that's new. It's pretty crappy. We got some beakers here. Cool. So there you go, folks. There's a pig here. Can we loot this car? Or did we already loot the car? Yeah, we already did. Just gonna head back now. Do we loot this? No, we didn't. Good, good, good. Some... Some lead in there, which is nice. Now I'm just gonna head back. There's a deer there, I think. I tried to pick that up while running, but that's kind of... Oh, hey zombies. Hey zombies. Yeah, so that's awesome, folks. There's that airdrop. And so we're coming into the afternoon here, which is nice. So that stuff, that stone should be done being inputted into the forge hopefully hopefully we can make some more cement and then we can make some of that concrete mix or whatever whatever it's called and so that way we can upgrade our walls and once our walls are upgraded then we're ready to rock and roll we'll kind of hit that bomb shelter the next day here day 20 and then we'll do our day 21 horde right so that's awesome close that up we're going to kind of run inside here. going to drop off my crap. Oh, the forge is... It's done, but it still needs more smelting, right? So let's actually throw some of this stuff away. Let's throw the wood into here. This is kind of like our storage chest, if that makes sense. Just kind of for raw materials and everything. <laughs> Let's throw, why don't we do need a thousand still for the, the for that. Let's throw the coal in there. Pain pills, antibiotics, we got a ton of those. I'm almost just tempted to start eating these because you, actually no you, actually yeah, you used to get wellness from it, but now it looks like they fixed that. And we're just collecting more and more kits. Like look at that, we got five, 10, 15, 20 kits. Like, that's insane. Insane! Those medical supply things are just craziness. We got more beakers here. Hopefully I can smelt that into glass. That's kind of the plan for that. We got a ton of these, these wrenches here. We got two of these. We can make more. Um, let's see here. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Oh, shoot. See, look at this. You're watching me do some... Yeah, some inventory stuff. This is what the game is. Like, part of the game is doing this, is going into these boxes, picking up things, and and all that kind of crazy stuff, right? That's all part of this. Oh, shotgun long barrel, pistol. I don't remember seeing those in here, but good thing I did, because we need to move those into the other box. 
that is definitely a thing. So let's check this out here. So this is the SMG receiver. That's cool, that's cool. Here's another pistol. So we got two pistols, I didn't realize we have two. Can we combine these pistols? Can we, yeah, it looks like we can kind of, maybe exchange some pieces out. I don't know, that's fine. That is fine, okay. I'm kind of stuck here. So do I have the, these things, the fuel? Okay, so let's dump some more in here actually. What, five more? Two, three, four, five. 20 minutes worth of stuff? Oh, I gotta put that away too. <laughs> okay, let's make some cement. How much can we make of this stuff? 300, let's do that. Let's go craft. Okay, that is being created. Then we can throw excess away. We can throw, let's throw these in here actually, for because it's like a fuel source, right? We got 25 cement here. Okay, okay. So how much cement will that make? Concrete will that make? Concrete mix. That should make, yeah, that should make a decent amount. Okay, perfect. And then basically what I'm gonna do with this con with this concrete mix is we are going to upgrade, upgrade a wall. And we're actually gonna go on the outside here. Another dog horde is scheduled to come here pretty quick. And what I was gonna do, at, oh, I should have wood frames. Shoot. Yeah, I figured that'd be a problem. Shoot, 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 what a waste, what a waste of time. We can upgrade these. Why can't I upgrade that? Is it because the wood's in the way? Yeah, there you go. Let's do this. Ah, see, it's so silly. There we go, come on. So it takes nine to upgrade. I thought it took ten. That's interesting. And then we do this one. Okay, okay, cool, cool beans, cool beans. We need to craft more of that stuff. And so yeah, so I think that's it. So it's a, they'll just be more dog horrors. I find the dog horrors boring. But usually I hang around the base on those days and I think I've recorded enough stuff. I'm not really doing much. We got that airdrop. We're gonna move that shotgun long barrel into that one box. And we gotta check for some more concrete. And then, yeah. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye bye.